Imagine a world where trading doesn't consume your day. It doesn't drain your emotions. It doesn't demand you to learn hundreds of chart patterns and a ton of different oscillators and indicators where the uncertainty of the market or futures no longer looms over your head. I've been where you are, checking futures at two, three in the morning, worrying about what's going to happen the next day and not even being able to live the life that I want to the fullest because I'm tethered to my phone or the screen all the time. And I've spent the past nine painstaking years going through every single strategy I can, learning everything that I can about risk management and how to detach your emotions from the stock market because life is more than just screens and numbers. Everybody's talking about how to get out of the rat race or off the hamster wheel, but the goal isn't just to be a fat rat with a gold collar. What we really want here is freedom. And this has led me to start testing my very own fully automated THT ETF. This is a collection of over 50 trading bots across 10 different sectors, 50 different stocks, and a system where I no longer have to pull the trigger, but instead trust meticulously on the numbers and all of the back testing and strategizing that I've been doing over the years. Now, up until this point, I haven't had to or really wanted to because I enjoy trading. I've just been following this strategy, but just pulling the strings myself. But then it brought me to the thought that I really could fully automate this and I wanna share it with you guys. So here was my requirements when building this. One, full automation. I needed to make sure that I was not the one pulling the trigger and instead that I was going to sit back and just allow the trading bots to do their thing. Now it still means that I have to put some work in. I should be watching the bots right at the market open and a market close just in case something happened. Number two is that we needed an all market strategy. A lot of strategies are very good, especially if you start using a back tester, but they might be great only in a specific market. If you're looking at what your returns would have been over the past couple of weeks or months or years, and the market's done nothing but go up, it's very hard to actually prove that that strategy is effective and works when it's only in one type of market. I needed to make sure that this strategy worked in any type of market. And there have been times in some of these stocks that it is negative, but as we go through and you see, it is very, very, very minimal versus the max drawdown that we usually see within the underlying asset. Now, the third aspect is that it had to be universal. This means that we can't just plug and play different features. For instance, change the SMA on a certain stock or you know, have different numbers for our indicators across different stocks. What happens is when you're running a back tester or you're running a strategy tester, all it's doing is taking a screenshot, just like an X-ray of the stock market and what those candles look like over that period of time. What it's not doing is showing you all of the variabilities and price action that happened within it. So what could happen is one random indicator could work so well on Apple stock for just the past year that you think it's going to work all the time, but it just perfectly set up to work well that one year. So for me, when I'm building a strategy, it has to be the same settings across all sectors and across all stocks. And the third thing we need is consistency over volatility. If you're really gonna treat this like a fund and you wanna retire from this, you want consistency and you're going to make sure that you don't want variability to the up or the downside. You shouldn't be losing 10 or 15% of your account following this. And we also shouldn't be making 10 to 15% returns on the account per day or within a week, because that means that we're over leveraged. And the position sizing and the allocation of capital, which you'll see as we break this down further, is everything in this because that's what makes it work so well. Now we started this experiment with $50,000 in paper money. All of the values that you're going to see here are going to be paper because before I put my money up, which we're gonna talk about with the AI trading, some of the worries and failures and things that I'm kind of iffy about, before I go putting my capital into this, I need to make sure that the automation aspect goes as smooth as I plan. So we started with $50,000 in a TD Ameritrade account that was a proxy account, so it was paper. And what we did was we took 50 stocks, like we said, across 10 different sectors, and we assigned $1,000 of that capital to each stock. And this means that if one stock performs terribly over the next year with our strategy, that we are diversified across all of these different sectors. Something that you have to understand is that big money never sleeps. The big institutions, the hedge funds, all of the guys and girls who can actually move the market never take their money out and just let it sit somewhere. They understand that cash is worthless and that 
The only thing that they could and should do with that is put it into more income producing assets, which is why most of the time when the market's dropping, you'll see money get pulled out of big tech and things that are overvalued and pushed into either a sector that they believe is undervalued, like maybe finance, travel, real estate, or they're going to put it into safer assets such as gold or treasury bonds. And this is why we cover so many sectors, because we understand that big tech might do really well this year, but if they're taking all of that money and shoveling it into another portion of the market, we need to make sure that we're trading that part of the market as well. Because as you'll see with the script, it's just a trend-based indicator. We're just looking at the overall trend we're making sure that we're over key trend levels and we're setting baseline take profit and stop losses. The software that we're currently using right now is called TradeStation. And the reason that we got rid of our TD Ameritrade SIM is because the company signal stack that we are going to do our integrations with no longer works with TD Ameritrade because they were acquired by Charles Schwab, which means that we cannot have an AI trading account with that broker anymore. This led me down the path to go and try something else. So right now we are trying TradeStation and this is a SIM account. It starts you with $1 million. I didn't know how to start that with anything else. So now instead of 50 stocks and doing $1,000 per trade, we're gonna be doing $20,000 position sizes since 20,000 times 50 is gonna equal $1 million. It's gonna be the same thing, just scaled up. Now, before we talk about the strategy and the integrations here, I want you to understand that your goal obviously is to have a winning strategy and to make it better. But I promise you that a good strategy with perfect execution and perfect adherence is going to do significantly better than the best strategy or script in the world with absolute crap adherence. Meaning if I give you the best scalping bot in the world or the best scalping strategy in the world, and it's ran off of a 30 second chart or a one minute chart, but you have to be at work all day or you have to take care of your kids or you have a meeting, it's not gonna work because you're not gonna be able to adhere to that trading strategy. And even if you do, you're probably not gonna be able to do it in a sustainable way. So focusing on a plan, much like a diet that you can just stick to and know that you can stick to it forever, in my opinion, is the most important thing. Remember, you can only win trading long-term. It's the same thing with investing. We're not here for what happens in the next couple of weeks or months. What we're focused on heavily is making money, but doing it in a consistent manner. Now, if you guys wanna follow all of these in real time, I actually have the bots hooked up to our private Discord community, which is the second link in the description, where they fire off in real time. We also have our swing trading bots. You get access to all of my trades, all of our courses, and much more. But the platform that we're using right now is going to be called TrendSpider. You can code on your own, which is something you might enjoy, but it's not something that I enjoy, or you can use some sort of plug and play software like TrendSpider. Now let's just use something like SQ as an example. This specific strategy is ran off of a 15 minute time frame. The indicators that we're gonna be using is an 11 SMA and a 50 SMA, just two of them. And for those of you who do not know what that means, it basically takes the average price of the past 50 days, which is this red line, and the average price of the past 11 days, which is this blue line. And all we're looking for is that when price closes over both of these lines, we enter and then we take profit on a higher high and stop out on a lower low. The reason it's so consistent is that it's only going to follow a trend. So you can see that in this downtrend, we did take a loss, but we never ended up entering a position ever again until we finally broke over this level. We therefore had a bunch of solid trades here before taking another loss. Now, if you look at the results at the bottom of your screen here, you're going to see SQ over the past 13 months, our net performance on this strategy was a return of 60%. And the asset performance or just the actual return if you're holding SQ shares was a loss of 1%. We took 376 positions, which was a lot of them. We had a win rate of 77% and a losing rate of 23%. And if you see here on this graph that the blue is our return on the portfolio, while this line here that's a mix of green and red and gray this is the actual asset. So we beat the living shit out of just holding shares and owning shares of SQ. 
So you can see over here on the right that this is the trading bots I have set up. Currently 44 because six of the 50 do not meet my criteria. So we have all of these trading bots set up. And what happens is every one of these bots will have what's called a webhook. It's a link that will send a message when that requirement is met. So I take one of these and I put the webhook one into my broker and one into our Discord community in case you guys want to follow along. Every single time that text message happens, it will go into my broker and take the trades for me. Now, as I said in the beginning, I've been following this for a very long time. I know this works, but this moves us now into the automation aspect because there are a lot of things that you have to think about here. What's the slippage going to be like? How are the commissions going to be? Is it not even going to be worth the time? Because for instance, a trend spider account like this costs $180 a month. And the amount of signals that I'm going to have to pay for signal stack to take the trades for me is close to $3,800 per year. So I've done the math and with an average return on all of these bots of about 89%, that's still a very solid return, but you have to be doing this with enough capital to actually make it worth it which I've done the math and that's minimum about 40 to $50,000. Now the point of this is not to say that everybody needs to do this. And I have no idea how this is going to work over the long term. I wanted to make this video so that I can share with you guys because I've seen nobody else on YouTube talk about this. And I wanted to share with you guys a passion project that I'm working on myself right now. And so if you guys are interested in stuff like this, Go check out the Discord, but comment down below and I can do more videos like this. Now you can see currently today, we are up about $13,000 on the account. And these are the current positions that are being held. This is taking a lot of orders. You can see that alone today, we've had over 65 positions that have been taken, but this is why the automation works so well. I'm gonna do weekly updates on this channel about this. We'll cover the PL, we'll see how everything is moving, and I'll share with you guys all of the problems that I'm currently facing. If you want to trade with us every single day, check out the second link in the description. And as always, guys, thank you for all your support. I'll see you guys next time.